Chair, we are live in public session. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, a quick welcome to our new commissioners, Doug Gate, Barry Sample, and Jim Deering. Welcome. Um, we're happy to have you on board. Let's jump right in. Uh, for those of you who don't yet know me, I'd like to move this along. So we're going to jump right in. Um, first item is approval of the minutes from the last uh, meeting on May 23rd. That's attachment C. Hey, excuse me. Why does it say C on you? But it is it. Okay. Uh, is there a motion? Moved. Thank you. Uh, second. Thank you, Marvin. All in favor? Hands up, please. It's all in York. All in Albany. Okay. And Seymour. Okay. So I got you. Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Uh, item two, report from staff. Um, Mr. Chairman, I'll, I'll bring up a few matters. Uh, first, as, as, uh, as we know, the annual report um, was um, uh, issued uh, a short time ago, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. So that is out. Um, in the area of outreach, um, just as an example, um, uh, uh, Megan uh, Hennigan and, and her staff have been reaching out for agencies such as Department of Health. Uh, we are going to be gearing special trainings to each of their departments um, and each of their special uh, divisions, trying to gear training so that, uh, I think as we've said before, is that the agencies are the first line of defense and responsibility for the conduct of their employees. There are special needs um, that each, each department, even within a especially within a large agency as DOH has, so we're going to be gearing uh, those trainings so that and we expect to be doing that more with the larger agencies um, extending our, our reach in that area um, we're going to have a spring summer newsletter coming out I know we're all waiting for that um, and that should be coming out shortly as well um, just think if oh um, I can at, at this point uh, perhaps before we go into the comprehensive lobbying regulations, do an update on, on uh, legislation. Uh, uh, with the session over, I understand there may be, at least according to the papers, perhaps a special session or extraordinary session coming up. But with formal session over, um, the legislation that had the most profound impact on, on JCOPE um, uh, is the uh, introduction uh, and the passage of the CSEA uh, collective uh, it's pay bill that would implement a collective bargaining agreement. Um, there will be changes to the um, filing thresholds that our threshold filers are based, uh, do their filing on. Um, that job rate will be changing. The bill hasn't been signed yet, so it's not effective. And then it has to, it has to be voted on as well. Um, uh, the, uh, the rank and file have to vote on it. Um, we are in the process of seeing how that impacts um, uh, our filing, our filers here. As you know, uh, as you recall, two or three sessions ago, we remarked how the PEF agreement uh, had a, had a, would impact the number of filers, new threshold filers, because the thresholds remain the same but raises went into place. This is kind of the cart following the horse in this case. Those thresholds have now changed. We're in the process now of seeing if that impacts those individuals that might otherwise uh, have been impacted by the PEF increases. We're working on that now working that through the system and we'll be able to report back on that uh, shortly. Um, also just in the area, uh, I'll mention on FDSs as well, the uh, legislative FDSs, um, I will be, believe will be posted, Walter, on or about June 30th, is uh, that what we're looking for? They or submit. June 30th will be posted by the end of the following week. Of They'll be July. posted, okay, the end of the week, July 2nd, so we'll have them in by the end of the week um, according to statute, so we'll get those from the LEC. Um, so th those are some of the reports we have. The next matter, uh, Mr. Chair, is the update on the proposed comprehensive lobbying regulations as one of the reports from staff. I'll just introduce uh, that discussion with, with the following. Um, we have taken, uh, staff has taken all the comments received by the um, 
by commissioners, by outside uh, comments, uh, commentators, including law firms who deal in lobbying, the good government groups that have chimed in, uh, other groups as well. Um, we have a marked up, a new, fresh red line copy of that that is going to be appearing on our website as a staff draft. Um, the intention is that come our August meeting, um, that um, we will uh, ask or suggest that the Commission um, vote on starting the SAPA process, which will be another period, of course, of comment and, and possible uh, hearings as well. Um, until that time, um, it's going to be on the, uh, it will be posted within the next day or so with those comments. It's available for, for comment, for um, uh, the public can see what, what has been done with the, co with the comments that were, have been submitted. And um, uh, we will be packaging all of that and uh, presenting that to the commission at the August 8th meeting to, um, f to give the commission the opportunity to start the SAPA process, if that's the direction it wishes to go in. Um, it, it, Martin, you have a, a, if you wanted to follow up with anything? Yeah, I just wanted to um, let the commissioners know and, and the regulated community that, um, as Seth said, the, the new drafts are posted, both a clean version of the comprehensive lobbying regulations, a red line which reflects changes since the initial draft that was issued last summer, and a draft of the changes to the source of funding regulations. Um, I am available for questions, whether it be today or any time between now and the next meeting or going forward. Um, there's obviously some weighty issues in here, um, so grassroots lobbying, social media, uh, procurement, fees and penalties, filing procedures, filing requirements. So as you get into it, you know, feel free to reach out to me or, or Carol Quinn or Andy Bouchard or any of us on staff. Um, um, and we're available now as well. If there are any absolutely. questions, if there are any questions that the commissioners have, uh, Martin is available 24 hours a day. The rest of us aren't, so we'll give you his home number. Um, but uh, but we're also available now as well if there are any questions. Um, Well, uh, Commissioner, the plan would be to put what you have before you, before the Commission again in August for a vote on a, on a formal rulemaking. That said, if there are uh, comments or concerns that are raised in the meantime, we may make uh, additional changes, in which case we'll let the Commission know beforehand. And, and it's, it'll be up to the Commission whether to accept those changes, Absolutely. too. So if, if, for example, someone comes with, with comments and finds, you know, yes. has questions, those will, yes. the idea will be to bring those in in the process come August as well. So um, uh, those comments will be part so of the discussion. Any have, yes. so, that this, so if any commissioners have comments or questions they wanted to raise today or between now and August 8th, then yes, we would try and incorporate them and then present that to the Commission in August. And that'll be noted on the draft, Commissioner, as well. So you'll see, if, if you raise a question, uh, we'll put it in as a comment on the side about something so the Commission will, will have all of, will, ha will have all that collected uh, comment in front of them to help inform its decision. Thank you, Commissioner in the past, but what is the source for these new regulations? What precisely do we use as a basis upon which to draft? Um, there, there are a number of sources. I'm sorry. May, may I just finish? Oh, please, I'm sorry. Because when you get involved in litigation, it's oftentimes important to understand sources in defining the meaning of regulation. So you have 943.1b, and I know you've told us the source in the past, but could we, before we say that this supersedes all of this stuff, can we just state where we got it from? It came from prior advisories, et cetera, et cetera. I, I, I hear you. I mean, we, we can certainly spell out in the regulations that the source for this 
or rather the, uh, the, the basis for, for the, the text, uh, it will take into account precedent, uh, development since the precedent precedents came out, and we can spell that out, and we can certainly spell that out within, within the regs. Yes, we can, Commissioner. I think it's important to spell that out with some specificity because oftentimes the meaning of a regulation could depend upon what its source was, where it came from, and it's like legislative history when you put it in. I, I think that's an excellent idea. I think that's excellent. We can we we will come up. We can I, make I sure that picture. I would insert it if I may. Sure. At 943, as the introductory sentence to 943.1b. Got it. And then follow the superseding. Okay. Thank you. Ab absolutely, Commissioner. I think that's a that's a that's a great idea, and uh, it anticipates those are going to be using it, and if questions are raised later on in its life. Should it be given life? <laughs> so. Does anybody else wish to be heard right now? Okay. Uh, on to item four on the agenda new and old business. <clears throat> I guess we've got none. Okay, this will be a very quick was a very quick public session. I don't think we've ever done it that fast. Um, I now need a motion to enter into executive session. Uh, can I have a motion? Thank you, Commissioner. Second. Thank you. Both. All. All in favor. All in New York. Any opposed? All in York. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, stand by. Thank you. Okay, uh, today in our uh, executive session, we discussed litigation. We authorized communication relating to compliance with financial disclosure filing requirements. We issued an advisory opinion, closed a substantial basis investigation, and discussed several pending investigative matters and authorized communications with respect to several of these investigations. Uh, I need a motion to adjourn. adjourn. Thank you. Second. Thank you, Commissioner Small. Small is all in favor of adjourning. Any opposed? Seeing none. It's unanimous. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.